Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you have the first and most substantial part of my physical TBR video. As I have been acquiring quite a few books in my personal collection, as I've continued on this booktube journey, I figured I needed to make one of these videos so that I could refer back to it, hopefully gain a sense of accomplishment in getting down my physical, my unread TBR. So do I have a TBR zero goal? No. I do, however, want to be well aware of the books that I have in my collection so that I can easily refer to them and pull them out of my collection. Hence this video. I have it divided in, and I'll turn the camera for just a second, several piles by the, the way I acquired them. So brief look over. These are the piles that I'm dealing with. So the reason that I'm filming it in two parts is because I know that I'm going to acquire several books, don't know the number yet, in December, uh, book, both book box books and ones that I acquire at the Strand. I'm already planning on acquiring hopefully a lot there. And because of that, I want to make this a yearly video to check in with the books and see how many I'm crossing off my list or adding to my list and see how that's going. So I wanted to do it for the year, but I wanted to get this video up sooner than the end of the year. And because of the travel, both to New York and then to the beach and the holidays and etc., I am going to save that last portion of the video for that point so that I'll be able to get the video up in a timely manner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the books that I acquired via the really big, really cheap, really good book sale. And because that is a significant stack. And then I'm going to go through the others and I'm going to tell you in turn where I got each of them. I'm also going to be keeping a counter going. Uh, my future editing self is probably going to regret this as I'm editing the video, but once a year I think is sufficient to make myself do this. So here we go. And I'm going to start with the really big, really cheap, book, really good book sale books, as I mentioned before. And they are roughly in four categories. So the categories that I have are fiction. I have Bob, Wood, Bob Woodward books. I have nonfiction. And then I have nonfiction that are education-ish related. I'm not really sure how I split that up. But I will go through each of these four piles before talking about the next set. And obviously because I have several, I will not be going into synopses throughout this video where that would take forever. First we have Empire of Ivory by Naomi Novik, Freedom's Landing by Anne McCaffrey, Black Horses for the King by Anne McCaffrey, Shylock's Daughter by Mariam Pressler, What We Found in the Sofa and How It Saved the World by Henry Clark, Cutting for Stone by Abraham Verghese, My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry by Frederick Bachman, The Half Wise by Stacey Pelletier, the Order of the Eternal Sun by Jessica Leake, Mother of Pearl by Melinda Haynes, The Anatomy Lesson by Nina Segal, and Maisel by Rebecca Goldstein. Next, we move into my Bob Woodward books. So I will not say his name after every book. We have Rage, Plan of Attack, The Choice, The War Within, State of Denial, The Agenda, Shadow, Five Presidents, and The Legacy of Watergate. Next, we have Palestine, Peace, Not Apartheid by Jimmy Carter, Defying the Odds, Triumphant Woman of Newark by Barbara J. Kukler, Committed by Elizabeth Gilbert, Separated, Inside an American Tragedy by Jacob Soboroff, Stones for Schools by Greg Mortensen, Good Neighbors by Nancy Rosenblum, College Unbound by Jeffrey Selengel, Poverty, Inequality, and Health, Social Services in the Ethnic Community, The Know-It-All by A.J. Jacobs, The Mueller Report, A Mind at a Time by Mel Levine, Power Can Seize Nothing Without a Demand. That concludes my really big, really cheap, really good book sale haul. Next, we are going to move into books that I have purchased for myself at various occasions throughout this year. First, we are going to start with those books that I have in various series. We have two series by V.E. Schwab. We have the Darker Shade of Magic series in which I have left A Gathering of Shadows and A Conjuring of Light. And then we have the Villains duology in which I have left Vengeful. Next, I have a complete duology by Renee Audier, and that is Flame in the Mist and Smoke in the Sun. Next, we have the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. 
That includes the prequel, The Kill Order, book two, The Scorch Trials, and book three, The Death Cure. Next, we have the concluding two books in the Fifth Wave trilogy by Rick Yancey, The Infinite Sea, and The Last Star. Next, we have the Sisters Grimm series, and there are several of these. We have book two, The Unusual Suspects, book three, The Problem Child, book four, Once Upon a Crime, book five, Magic and Other Misdemeanors, book six, Tales from the Hood, book seven, The Ever After War, book eight, The Inside Story, and book nine, The Council of Mirrors. Next, we have The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, starting with Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter. To finish up the series portion, we have the Graceling series by Kristen Shore, and this is now missing the newly released fifth book in the series, but we have Graceling, Fire, Bitter Blue, and Winter Keep. Next, we have a variety of books that I have purchased at a variety of times and from a variety of locations, and which may or may not form part of a series. The first of which is an arc, which I have not purchased, and that is Muddy People by Sarah El Sayed. The next two are the graphic novels. First, we have Wingbearer by Marjorie Liu and Run by John Lewis and others. Next, we have several books which form other parts of series. Some series I have read portions of, some I'm going to test out. We're going to start with A Man Called Obe, not part of a series, but it connects to Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Then we have Traitor's Blade by Sebastian D. Castell, The Dragon Reborn by Robert Jordan, Race to the Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse, Along the Salt Wise Sea by A. Deborah Baker, otherwise known as Sean McGuire. Next, we have several books by my favorite author, J.R.R. Tolkien. We have The Children of Hootie, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, and The Fall of Gondolin. The next share No Connection, Mapping the Bones by Jane Yolen, Out of the Easy by Ruta Septis, Ibelis Explains It All by Andrea Beatriz Arango, His Truth is Marching On by John Meacham. The next category of books that I have are books that I have in Spanish, that I have previously read in English, but I, I read through them a few pages a day. El Sonador Desconocido, La Mosa de las Pesadillas, both by Lainey Taylor, Refugiado by Alan Gratz, A Cinco Pies de Ti by Rachel Lippincott, Se Fueron a la Izquierda by Monica Hess, Esperanza Renace by Pam Munoz Ryan, Lágrimas en el Mar by Ruta Sepetis. The last major portion of this video comprises book box books and I will tell you prior to each set which book box subscription I got these books from. This is not all of the books that I've ever received from those subscriptions because I have read obviously books from those subscriptions but they include all of the unread. First of those is my comic subscription. We have Far Sector by N.K. Jemison. What's the furthest place from here? Impossible Jones. Next we have TBR or Tailored Book Recommendations, The Sentence by Louise Erdrich, The Ivory Key by Akshaya Rahman. Next we have my Black Lit Box, Black Girls Must Be Magic by Jane Allen, Waiting to Exhale by Terry McMillan, By the Book by Jasmine Guillory. Next we have my Illumicrate Books, The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd-Jones, The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew. Next we have books from my Call It subscription, a quarterly subscription which I will not be getting beyond two more that I've already paid for. Child Bride, Jennifer Smith Turner, The Bootlegger's Mistress, Mark Curtis Little. Then we have three one-off books from subscription boxes. We have The Luminaries by Susan Dannern from Owl Crate. We have Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber from Litjoy. Blood and Moonlight by Aaron Beatty from Abraxas. Next we have my Fairy Loop books. This Vicious Grace by Emily Theed or Tide, Princess of Souls by Alexandra Cristo, One Dark Window by Rachel Gilling. Next we have my Book of the Month books, Other Birds by Sarah Addison Allen, As Long as the Lemon Trees Grow by Zula Katu, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin, Hester by Lori Albanese, Someday Maybe by, and I'm going to give it my best shot, Oni Nwabanili. Second to last in book box books we have my Goldsboro SFF subscription, Mindwalker by Kate Dillon, The Immortality Thief by Taryn Hunt, Lost in Time by A.G. Riddle, Silver Under Nightfall by Rin Chupeco, The Final Strife by Sara Alorifi. Lastly, we have my Coffee and Book Club subscription. One of these I did purchase for myself because the book that came in the subscription was the second book in the series. And that book is Stealing Thunder by Alina Boyden, 
The book that came in the subscription is Gifting Fire by Elena Boyden. The rest of these did come in the subscription box. The Silver Scar by De Betsy Dornbush. Earth Eater by Dolores Reyes. Empire of the Wild by Sherry DeMoline. A Trick of Light by Stan Lee and Kat Rosenfield. Ghost Rider in the Sky by Piers Anthony. The Porpoise by Mark Haddon. Nightwise by R.S. Belcher. Fate of the Fallen by Kel Cade. The Grand Dark by Richard Cadre. That concludes the first portion of my physical TBDR. When you see me next, I will have a short selection of books to talk about, which will wrap up my physical TBR. And at that point, I'll be able to give a final number on just how many books I have on my physical TBR. I just remembered there are a few books that I put up out of the way that I forgot to talk about. We'll call this category my forgotten section. We have a cookbook, Rise and Run by Shalane Flanagan and Elise Kopecki. And we have two books purchased at the 2021 version of the really good, really cheap book sale. That is Mary Queen of Scots by Antonia Fraser and the, Fit the Fitzgeralds and the Kennedys in American Saga by Doris Kearns Goodwin. Now that concludes the first part of my physical TBR. I'll see you in just a moment with the second and concluding portion. And now I'm back with the last section of my physical TBR. I'm going to talk about them in three different sections. One is December slash November book box books. One is Owl Crate books. And lastly, my New York haul books. So we will start with my December slash November unboxings. For those we have The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang, The House at the End of Magic by Amy Sparks, The Master of Dreams by Mike Resnick, Center Back and Other Stories by Munashi Kaseke, A Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross, Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young, Ariadne by Jennifer Saint, Take My Hand by Dolan Perkis Valdez, Thieves by Lucy Byron, Rise, a pop history of Asian America from the 90s until now. Next, we have my Owl Crate books. Kiki Calera, Brace the Kingdom by Sanju Mandana, Cece Rios in the Desert of Souls by Kayla Rivera, A Rover Story by Jasmine Warga, Strange World's Travel Agency by L.D. Lipinski, A Comb of Wishes by Lisa Stringfellow, The Barren Grounds by David A. Robertson, Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross, The Depths by Nicole L'Esperance, Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. The last section we have are my New York haul, all from The Strand. The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshi, Jade City by Fonda Lee, Frostheart by Jamie Lilliler, The Song of the Cell by Sudhartha Marjeki, Rust in the Root by Justina Ireland, Madly Deeply, The Diaries of Alan Rickman, Defy the Night by Bridget Kimmerer, City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty, Carnival by Stephanie Garber, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clark, New Kid by Jerry Craft. So there you have my physical TBR as of December 24th, 2022. At the time of filming, I do not know how many books are on my physical TBR, but I will put that number here. Is that number prone to grow? Probably. I'm looking to expand my library as much as possible, but still take advantage of my actual library. We shall see how much this number grows or shrinks changes you could say by the time it comes for this video in 2023. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.